Very loud for Mikey McCurdy! Keep that love and energy going for Kenny Weber, everybody. Drove down here early. I've been sitting at a coffee shop waiting for the show to start, so I'm excited. <laughs> I hang out at coffee shops all the time. I'm really hyper. I don't drink coffee. I drink tea. Of course, I got skeptical friends. They're like, well, there's more caffeine in tea than coffee. I'm like, oh, yeah, smarty pants? What kind of tea has the most kick? Karate? Boo? Ah? Uh ah? -huh. Uh -huh. Don't hold your laughs in, I can see it. <laughs> Does anybody know what kind of tea has very little kick? Subtle tea. Oh. 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 Does anybody know what kind of tea America wishes they would drink? Liver tea. <laughs> Could you imagine if I did that the whole show? Because <laughs> I'm going to. <laughs> This is so much fun. I can't believe this many people signed out of Netflix tonight, you guys. Thank you so much. I read an article, people are watching Netflix more than they're hanging out with their actual friends. It's because they got friends on Netflix. All 10 seasons. I thought one of those. As you can tell, no one takes me seriously because I'm 32 years old and I still go by Mikey. People ask me, they're like, why Mikey? Because it's my key to your heart. <laughs> uh -huh. So let me in. Why don't you laugh? I didn't name myself, obviously. I'm the youngest of six, which sucks because I had to play catch up my whole life and now I like it on all my food. Even salads. <laughs> Nobody likes ketchup salads? Nobody likes the feeling like you hunted and murdered some earth? <laughs> I know I got a lot of vegan friends who don't like that attitude. But sometimes I don't like my vegan friends' attitudes because they can act like grass holes. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just go to the bathroom. There's no paper towels, so we're friends now, okay? <laughs> being, from a, being from a big family, the youngest, I didn't have any younger siblings to torment, so I became naturally good with kids. And I used to babysit, and I thought about doing that today, but it's either babysit or mustache. Because <laughs> you can't babysit with a mustache. <laughs> You guys probably guess what game I used to play with the kids, right? Peek-a-boo. Oh, God. I originally grew up in a town called Rancho Cucamonga, California. Doesn't deserve that? Okay. There you go. Just heckle things. Go ahead. I guess that's okay. Anybody else here from California? <laughs> spoiled. <laughs> like all my friends from California, they're spoiled rotten. They're like, yeah, dude, the same day, I can go to the beach, I can go to the mountains, I can go to the desert, but I gotta go to rehab. <laughs> I got a lot of dumb friends still in Rancho doing dumb things. Like right now, they like to give themselves tattoos. Yeah, my friend just gave himself 99 on his body, but he put it on his butt cheeks, so when, he's, when he spreads the cheeks, it says where he's from. <laughs> 99 butthole jokes. I guess we don't want to go there. Fine. <laughs> Rancho won't stop opening up those model homes. You see kids on the side of the street still flipping those model home signs. I know, you, 
you're like, they'll hire any kid for that job. And the other day, I saw that they hired that any kid. It's a kid in a wheelchair. I know, you feel bad. <laughs> but when you think about it, you feel bad for the kid across the street at the other model homes, because he's looking at the kid in a wheelchair and thinking, I should have brought a chair. <laughs> Rancher got put on the map, though, because they built that amusement honey park store called the Bass Pro Shop. You guys been there? Yeah, you walk in there, you realize they sell the biggest profit of the 21st century. Murder. Yeah, it's fucked up. They did sell something very interesting to me, though, which was camouflage Bibles. <laughs> Finally, I can read about Christ, and my atheist family will never know. <laughs> Grew up in an atheist family, hashtag not blessed. <laughs> Out, so I moved to the city of Lost Angels. Now I'm working two jobs, eight shifts a week, no off days. My friend's like, when do you meet girls? I'm like, in the future. <laughs> I've been working at the same restaurant for 11 years, if you can't tell from my stand-up comedy. My friend's like, why? Because they don't drug test? <laughs> Some people are high tonight, good. <laughs> It's a corny job, like I gotta go outside and say, hey, not only do we have seafood, we got land food. <laughs> so please take care of the wait staff tonight. Woo! For me. Yeah, I don't know if you're in the room if they can do that. No, you're not in the room, they can do that. I fuck that up. It's not you. It's me. They can't, no, they're not in the room. They can't do that. Are you trying to get them in the room, or are you trying to get thrown out? <laughs> I always got to put my hair up, and uh, girls try to give me compliments. They're always like, ooh, I like your man bun. I'm like, no, this is my work bun. This is my man bun. <laughs> You gotta like your coworkers though, you know anybody hanging out with their coworkers tonight? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Alright, no more open questions to the audience. <laughs> you gotta be nice to your coworkers though, you know, you see them way too much. I got a coworker, her name is Joy, and I, I like to joke with her. I'm like, hey, since your name is Joy, you can never be depressed, right? And she took her life last week. <laughs> Talk about a kill, Joy. <laughs> So now when people ask me what I do, I'm honest, uh, I say, uh, I'm a whacker, <laughs> A wacky actor. Boo! Uh, <laughs> yeah, actors are weird. It gets annoying though sometimes, you know, we have to go on a bunch of auditions and They'll ask you annoying questions. Uh, I think the most annoying question somebody asked me was, do uh, you have any hidden talents? Yeah. I know how to make paint dry faster. <laughs> okay, some people in the back over there don't like dry humor. <laughs> oh, ah, ah. I love you. I love you. This is so much fun. I love it, Huntington Beach. Orange County, what else? Long Beach, I love it. I love it. I love it, even though I got heckled today, hanging out at the coffee shop. Yeah, some guy drove by, he was like, cut your hair, hippie! I know, and I started crying. Because I realized it was 13 years ago today that my barber died. <laughs> Now you're laughing and not yelling? Love it. I know, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to stop writing jokes about my hair. 
but they're stuck in my head. <laughs> Of course, people always ask me too, they're like, hey man, if you're ever gonna cut your hair, are you gonna donate it? I'm like, duh, paintbrushes. <laughs> Boo, ha, art. Cause you can do it, put your craft into it, huh? I can do it, put my craft into it. <laughs> oh, you guys, all right. You guys, you guys like white guys trying to crip walk? I learned how to try to crip walk from a white guy from Inglewood when we were in Canada. Just try to be honest. Just, I'm just being honest. I didn't do much fun, as you can tell. Shh. You're good. I love it. No, we were hanging out earlier, chilling in the parking lot. Because I look like a guy that smokes all his friends' weed. <laughs> Ask him, like, Mikey, he's always OG, always out of ganja. <laughs> My friends are stupid, though. They give weed to homeless people. Does anybody do that? Good. Because that's mean. You're just making them more hungry later. <laughs> That's why you give an edible. <laughs> Two birds, one stone, homeless guy. <laughs> Bill, huh? <laughs> I know, I'm trying not to, but you guys, this is going way better. Who's bugging me right now? I'm busy. Anybody here freak out on edibles? Me too. <laughs> I got so freaked out last week, I tried to FaceTime 911. <laughs> 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 they seem to die and you'll get here sooner! <laughs> Didn't work. Didn't work because uh, emergency services don't have iPhones. Speaking of iPhones, thank you guys so much for not looking at your Instagram right now. You could clap, that one guy clapped, he's like, yeah! I didn't post anything on my story today! Instagram is the new Playboy, I'm just here for the stories. Everybody posting, posting their summer bods. You guys excited for the summer? I'm not excited for the summer. Take my clothes off and get judged. It's because I'm really skinny. Like, I'm so skinny when I fart, it smells like bones. So my friend's like, Mikey, why don't you go to the gym? Because uh, the women look so good, I only work out one arm. We're not done yet, okay? A lot of house parties going on during the summer. I don't like to go to house parties because drunk girls try to straight iron my hair. <laughs> I'll go though if there's a dance party because straight guys, we gotta dance more. <laughs> thank you. I know, thank you. Yeah, and that, some people do, some people do. I was at a house party, this one girl came up to me, she was like, damn, you got some good moves. Are you a break dancer? I said, no, I break things dancing. <laughs> Which is usually females' hearts. <laughs> 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 You're my favorite. <laughs> when I go out though, I like to be the designated driver. So I got a lot of friends, they, they want to ride with me. And if I know they're gonna be chill, I got this new rule in my car. If they want to ride in the front seat, now they're gonna call Chakra. <laughs> Someone did a 
Shocker joke earlier? Yeah. I know, and you guys are not. It's not stealing, okay? I'm trying to. <laughs> same wavelength. <laughs> Obviously, my friends are like, that's stupid, bro. I don't know what that means. I'm like, well, that's the new rule if you want to ride in my car. Uh. <laughs> All right, you guys don't like buns. Fine. <laughs> You guys are going to judge me anyways, huh? If you do it, just do it on a scale of one to zen. <laughs> Alright, so you want to go deep? Good. Like right now, I like to go deep. I, I'm able to brush my wisdom teeth. Yeah, I'm like, now I can learn some deep philosophy. <laughs> Thirty-two years old, I just got tested for ADD. Thank you. Turns out I have a new condition called ODD, which means I'm odd. <laughs> I'm actually happy to announce that I was just voted intellectual's least favorite comedian on the dark web. Yeah, they're like, what's your stand-up comedy like? And I was honest. I said like my love making. I got tiny bits. Now, these tiny bits, I'm working on longer sets, so I have to slow down. Boom. Ah. Ah, I can't make the eye contact with you. You're not, you're not the only one I'm comfortable. Speaking of being uncomfortable, I just went camping for my first time. I know, 32 years old. It's a little late, a little late, I know. And I, I figured out why it's late, because I was raised off a of fridge door water. <laughs> yeah, if there's no crushed ice, I'm not going on vacation. I know, I got into some things late, like I just went to my first music festival at 32 years old. I know, too old. And I knew I was too old because I got busted for smuggling drugs in Advil. Yeah, they're like, uh, we sell that here. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I did learn, though, where the best place to sit at a music festival is right by the medic tent. Because it's really fun to watch all these young kids just get wheeled in and can't handle their drugs. <laughs> Every five minutes, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Plus, it's also a good idea once, you know, if your mushrooms open up that wrong door, you can be like, I'll crawl in there right now. <laughs> No, I do fun things, though. I like to go to Disneyland by myself, even though I look like I shouldn't. <laughs> Where my single writer's at? <laughs> I don't like that they got drinking fountains next to the bathrooms at theme parks. I'm like, you guys are just making more potty mouths. <laughs> 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 Is that a clean joke? You guys know, you heard the story though of Disneyland. They got a bunch of feral cats live at Disneyland. Yeah, they got a bunch of feral cats live at Disneyland. They have their own Instagram, cats at Disneyland. They throw some likes. I try to figure it out. I'm like, well, why is there so many cats there? It's because they got a really big mouse. <laughs> That's a clean joke. That's the image I want. I'm not gonna, not gonna be a comedian that's gonna come up here and talk about my dick, okay? I think that's taboo. <laughs> Try to go somewhere different, that's okay. <laughs> Snort, yes. My favorite hide me. Are you broke? She's broken, huh, over there? She plug her into a charger. I love stand-up comedy. Stand-up comedy and sex are my two favorite things in the world. And my girlfriend keeps away from both of them. You don't have to apologize for having an absolutely wonderful time at the Red Room, okay? No, I love doing stand-up comedy on the road because a lot of girls think I'm the guy from Workaholics. It's <laughs> getting there. And that works because sometimes I don't make enough money on these gigs, so I get excited when a girl, you know, asks me to come back after a show. I know, I'm nervous about it. Do you? Not anymore. So the 
was one night, this girl asked me to come back after a show and things got pretty serious. Then they got romantic. And then after two hours of dry humping, she finally told me she was a virgin. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what to say. I was like, well, every time a virgin doesn't put out, an angel loses a boner. <laughs> That's because she was a Christian girl. And that confused me, because I was like, what am I doing to attract Christian girls? <laughs> Are you guys ready for your headliner? Yeah.